And this is our high school remediation pilot. Now, earlier, Joe mentioned the challenges that high school students have, or high schools have, in remediating their students who are coming in uh, a bit below grade level. So we took our success with speeding up students performing below grade level and adapted it for students in high school that were struggling with algebra. On average, most of these students were entering our program about three years behind. So, you know, that's a good amount of space to go. That really means that's about our, that's nearly our entire skill map, which is almost 300 skills. And there's just no way we would have time to do all that. So what we did is we identified what are the core skills that are actually involved in learning algebra. And it turns out there's about 135 of those skills. So what we did is when we look at those, we, we essentially just trimmed all the rest. And we said we're going to focus and prioritize on those 135 skills. And what that allows us to do is we could then take the, we could then take the same approach. We could identify targets and then f um, build up those, those target trees and ultimately fill in those gaps from earlier grades that were targeted directly at algebra. Now remember, we had never run Teach to One in a high school before. So the basic question still remained. Would TTO even work in a high school? Would the logistics just be too much of a challenge? Uh, would students find it too juvenile? So what did we see? Well, this year we ran four pilots um, in high schools across the country, two district schools, one private, one rural, uh, and one rural charter school. Each school made gains that were more than two times the national average, and one school even made gains that were th more than three times the national average. I'm not going to lie, this is feeling pretty good today, being up here, being able to tell you about this. <laughs> um, but it's still early, and we still have a lot more to learn about running Teach to One in high schools. But so far, what we're seeing is that there are high school students who are motivated to learn, that are embracing personalization, and accelerating in ways far beyond what would typically take place in a traditional remedial math program. 